Today on Horseland, Bailey rescues an adorable puppy. <laughs> <laughs> but Alma and Shep's jealousy may drive the little dog straight into danger. We've got to find him before nightfall. What do we do now? <laughs> nice ride, Aztec. Yummy apples! Horseland's got a great crop this year, and you really deserve a reward today. Okay, that's your appetizer. Now let's see how fast you can get us home for the main course. Down, boy! Quiet now. It's okay, little guy. Paws look fine. You'll be okay. Hmm. No collar or tag. <laughs> okay, little guy. Let's get you clean and fed. Then we'll find your owner. <laughs> Cute little guy. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Look at that face. Aww. Sweet thing. <laughs> so precious. Can I hold him, please? He'll get you wet. It's okay. He's so cute. Hey, what about us? Aww. Will checked all over town and at Dr. Martin's, and nobody's reported a lost puppy. Little guy may have been abandoned. It's hard to believe someone could be so cruel and uncaring. Aww, he kissed me. My turn. You know what? I've decided to adopt him. Aww. Really? What are you going to name him? Don't know. Any ideas? With his fur clean and fluffed out, he looks just like a tiny bear cub. He does look like a little cub. That's it. I'm naming him Cubby. Bailey, can I talk to you a minute? Uh, sure. You know how I've always wanted a puppy, but because my dad is the stable manager, I've never been able to get one. I didn't know that. He says one dog at Horseland is enough. Aw, uh, he'll come around. You can help raise Cubby, too. You have to see how he's licking Molly. <sighs> Bailey just doesn't get it. I don't want to help raise his dog. I want my own dog. It's hard not to be a little jealous about Cubby. But when I feel jealous, I try to do other things I like. Yeah, like? Um, well... I know! Let's go on a trail ride tomorrow! You can pick the trail! It'll be fun, you'll see! Sure... Adorable! <laughs> Come on, little guy! Let's get you some food! Hey, Shep! Gotta borrow this. Thanks, boy. You can munch on this, Cubby, until we get you some proper puppy kibble. Shep won't mind. You may not mind, but I would. Good thing that was your food he took away. It's okay. I can share. Guess it's time for me to say howdy. Touching noses will give the little guy a proper horseland welcome. How is my cutie pupsy wupsy? Aw, you're such a kissy cubby. Hey, cubby, meet your Uncle Shep. <laughs> Oh, baby! Whoa! Oh. You okay, Zoe? Poor Cubby! Don't be scared! Shep! You have to be more careful. You frightened Cubby and made Zoe fall. Go somewhere else so you won't scare him again. A ball! Cool! Hey, that's my apple. Go play outside, kid. You can get stepped on around here. And just look at the trouble you got Shep into. I didn't mean to, Mr. Oars. I got scared. He looks so big to me. And I look small? <laughs> Shep, I'm sorry I got you in trouble before. Wanna play ball? Sure, we could play for a while. 
gosh, Shep, maybe you can teach me some of your awesome tricks. I bet you're super great at sniffing out trails. <laughs> <laughs> The trick is to follow the scent. Keep your nose to the ground. And you'll find your way. <gasps> Thanks, I'll remember that. <laughs> That's it, kid. I pooped. Oh, come on, Shep. We're just getting started. Show me some of your cool moves. Okay, just one. Watch this. <gasps> Oh, that's hard on the old spine. Nobody to play with, boy? When Shep was a pup, he wanted to play all the time, too. Come on, I've got a nice bed set up in my room, just like the one Shep had when he was little. A bed inside? Isn't Cubby adorable? He looks just like my plush dog, Sprinkles. Cubby, there you are, boy. Let's show Alma our new trick. <laughs> Isn't he amazing? He must be the smartest dog ever. Bailey used to tell me I was the smartest dog ever. I wish Cubby was my puppy. Hey, Shep. Want to play ball again? No, thanks. Oh, come on. One little game. What part of no don't you understand? No? No about what? Tell me what you mean, Shep. Is this a riddle? <laughs> Leave me alone. Shep, what's gotten into you? That goes for you, too. Fine. Come on, Cubby. Let's play. Who needs the old grump anyway? Looks like you've been bitten by that green-eyed monster called Jealousy. Huh. That Mutt's taking the attention from you. Bailey spends all his quality time with him. Oh, you must feel awfully left out. You're right, I do. Bailey doesn't need me anymore. It'd be better for everyone if I just left Horseland. <gasps> Shep, wait! Not now, Tinny. Shep, you can't leave. Horseland is your home. Just watch me. E e everyone's just making a fuss over Cubby because he's new. You're the one we depend on. You're our family, Shep. You can't just walk away from us. Please don't leave. <laughs> Tinny. Please, stop crying. Promise you'll stay? I'll promise to give it a try, that's all. But if things don't change, I'm out of here. Oops, sorry, Button. Whoa, is this the girl who's going to take gold in the Olympics? Dressage is about controlled passion, flowing into every single movement. I don't see much passion today. You want passion? Okay, how's this? You knew I wanted a dog and can't have one. Now you have two and I have none. It's so unfair. But wait a minute, Alma. I already told you we could share Cubby. And I already told you that it's not the same. Besides, if you had any sense at all, you'd see what you were doing to Shep. What are you talking about? Look at him. Doesn't look very happy, does he? That's because you have two dogs, and you're only paying attention to one. Me? I don't have any. And I'm so jealous I can't stand it. Alma, we all feel jealous when someone has something we don't. It feels awful, but if we don't deal with our feelings, it feels worse. I was jealous when everyone got a horse before me. But Bailey let me help take care of Aztec, and I felt better. How nice for you. Helping take care of Cubby is the next best thing for you. Here. You don't understand. I don't want the next best thing. We really understand that. Zoe and I never settle for second best. 
We want what we want when we want it and not a moment later. And we hate having to share. Especially with each other. You haven't seen jealousy until you've seen us in action. Wow, you know, we're a lot more alike than we realized. Stick with us, girlfriend. We totally get it. Come on, let's get these horses put away and get out of this place. The mall calls. Shep's hardly touched his food. Do you think he feels okay? How do you think he feels? This little mutt has stolen all his thunder. I didn't mean anything. I'm so happy I have a new home. I just want everyone else to be happy, too. Hmm. Fat chance of that. Are you angry because Alma went with Chloe and Zoe? You bet I am. We were supposed to... What? Am I seeing triple? We bought our new best friend a jacket to go with our new ones. We rock. You're the jealous ones now, huh? Well, don't you like it? I thought we had plans to go on a trail ride. An hour ago? Sorry, I forgot. We were so busy shopping. Sure, forgot. A trail ride is a great idea. Come on, Alma. You and I and Chloe can go. Let's move it, Alma. Your trail ride awaits. Yeah, let's test ride our new look. I can't believe they bought her that jacket. Alma and I saw it in a catalog. I told her I wanted one. Now I'm the one that's jealous. You need to talk to her. You know she's feeling jealous of Bailey. Maybe she's taking it out on you. I can't believe how nice it was for Chloe and Zoe to bring us these wonderful crisp apples and share them with our new friend Button. Knowing Chloe and Zoe, there will be a lot more for us later. They love to spoil us with yummy food. I'd rather be spoiled with affection. Button, I can't believe you can be bought for a bowl of apples. Well, you could share some of your treats. Looks like there's enough to go around. Do I detect a note of jealousy? It hurts when a friend turns her back on you. All we were asking her was to think about sharing, Cubby. But sharing doesn't seem to be an option for her. She's too jealous to realize we're trying to help. This is getting so juicy. The fur's flying now. What do you mean, Angora? The girls don't have any fur, and fur doesn't fly. Feathers do. What I mean is there's been nothing but trouble since you arrived at Horseland. But, but what I do? You did plenty. You've hogged all the attention and made everyone jealous. Now everybody's upset. The girls, the horses, me, and just look at poor Shep. Poor old Shep, not needed, not wanted, tossed away like yesterday's news. And it's all your fault. But I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Bye, Teeny. Cubby, where are you going? I'm so sorry, Shep. I'm just trouble for everyone. You can have Bailey all to yourself now. Cubby, wait. Has anyone seen Cubby? We've been looking everywhere. So that's what Shep's trying to tell us. Cubby's lost! We've got to find him before nightfall. Right. There are too many wild animals out there looking for dinner right about now. We heard Cubby's gone! I thought you didn't care since he wasn't yours. <laughs> Shep's picked up Cubby's scent. Chloe and Zoe, you two hang out in case Cubby comes home. 
If he shows up, give us a call. Alma, you come with Molly and Nani and me. We need more eyes. Come on, Aztec, follow Shep. He'll find Cubby. The wind's whipping up. Storm coming. This is not good. <coughs> Shep, what is it? It's okay, Shep. Show me your paw. You're such a trooper, Shep. Always have been. You're the heart of Horseland. I'm so proud of you. You find that little pup, Shep. If any dog in the world can sniff him out, it's you. He's lost Cubby's scent. But don't worry, he'll get it again. He always does. <laughs> Put this on, Molly. Thanks, I was freezing. But it's your new jacket. I'm not cold. And anyway, I like my old one better. You can have this one, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> He's got Cubby's scent again. boy <laughs> that's my boy Shep okay cubby watch and learn Shep was so brave he was ready to fight that huge mountain lion all by himself we're so lucky to have him here he must have been so jealous of all the attention cubby was getting but now he knows he's special too He's really made me think how my own jealousy was getting the better of me. Good. You learned something. I've decided that if I can't get exactly what I want, well, sharing is the next best thing. Just like all of you said. <laughs> Whether it's a dog, or a jacket, or a bushel of apples. When I get jealous, I try to remember what I learned in preschool. You get what you get and you don't get upset. Ew! That was so not our motto. Why are we not surprised? An attitude of gratitude. That's what we all need to learn. What nonsense are you spouting now? Well, for example, I'm grateful for my new friend, Cubby. And I'm grateful to have my chow. <sighs> Oops. And I'll be grateful if this obnoxious little canine pet will just leave me alone. 
It's important to remember to be thankful for what you have instead of being jealous of what you don't have. If I'd kept on being the way I was, I wouldn't have had anything. See ya!